Let us check the first problem. First problem is the hexagonal prism of base side 30 mm, height 80 mm, resting on HP with uh, its base, with a base edge parallel to VP. We have to draw the projection. So it is a very simple position. Let us start the top view first. Draw 30 mm line. Draw the hexagon in this position. Draw the 30 degree line so that the included angle will be 120. Draw the 30 degree line on the other side. Try to duplicate uh, this regular hexagon. So now the regular hexagon is ready. The idea is all the sides should be equal and uh, all the included angle should be 120. The side given is 30 mm. It's a simple position. The base is on the ground, on HP. So we start the top view first. So now let us go for the front view. We introduce the X-ray line. Project uh, these guys. We take a height of uh, 80 mm. We finish this rectangle. Here you see, we should know which lines are visible and which are invisible. See here, uh, assume extreme corners, draw horizontal lines. You see from the top, whatever is visible in this side will be visible and the other side will be invisible. So for this edge, you draw one line dark. For this edge, you draw another line dark draw the axis also. Make use of an axis line. Draw it. Now, naming is very important. Start with uh, A, the first point, then B, C, D, E, and F. Likewise, the bottom points, you have one, Place it inside the hexagon. 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, A dials is visible, B dials is invisible. So, put it at the bottom of uh, this line. C dials is also invisible. Place it here. D dials is visible. E dials is visible. F dash is visible. In a similar fashion, try to complete the other set of points. That is, 1 dash is visible, 2 dash is invisible, 3 dash is invisible, 4 dash is visible, 5 dash is visible, 6 dash is also visible. So, finally, because the base is on the HP, the position of the axis is perpendicular to HP. So, axis perpendicular to HP. Axis perpendicular to HP and uh, parallel to ED. So, it is a very simple case. At the same time, the base edge BC is parallel to BP. The base edge EF is parallel to BP. So it's a very simple case of a hexagonal prism resting on the ground with uh, its base on HP and one of its base edge BC parallel to BP. Try to add the dimension as well. The axis length or 
height of the hexagonal prism is given as 80 mm.